Hey folks, here's a quick tutorial on how to get an Ark Survival Ascended dedicated server up and running on its early stages of the game coming out. Enjoy! Righto, so the first thing that we'll do is head into Steam, and if we search for Ark, we should see in the, under the Tools section an Ark Survival Ascended dedicated server. We'll install that. And we don't have to launch it right now, we just kind of have to have it installed. Let's over, head over into the gear icon, manage, and then we'll browse these local files. We'll go into shooter game, binaries, win, 64, and then we have essentially our two EXEs for our actual servers. Righto, so from here we can create a directory somewhere on our computer for where we want to create a batch file to run this ARC server. There's a couple ways of doing this, but this is probably one of the easier ways. So I'm just gonna go into here. We'll create, uh, we'll say arc server, or just call it arc for right now. And we'll create a new batch file. So uh, we'll just call this uh, start ASA, or whatever you wanna call it. And then at the end of it, let's call it dot bat. If you don't have uh, file extensions shown, uh, you, you'll want to get those uh, essentially shown. So we'll click yes here to update our file extension. So if we don't have file extensions shown, we can go in, up here into view, click file extensions, and then make sure this is checked. Cool. So we have that. Let's open it up in a text editor. I'm going to use Notepad++ Notepad++ for this. And I'll have this pasted down in the description. Copy and paste uh, this command line essentially for what we're for what we're working with. Uh, this first section, let's kind of break it down what it means. This first section is going to be our directory to our Arc Ascended server. So obviously, this first section is going to be a little bit different. It might be different down in the description. Just be sure to update that to this file directory, sorry, uh, to our win64 directory where our arc ascended server.exe is. Cool. So the next section says we're going to be running the island. That's the only server, that's the only uh, map available, so we'll stick with that. Session name is the name we want it to actually show in the session browser. If we want a password protected, we can have this server password here. If we want to get re remove the password and not have that, we can completely remove this section. Admin server password is the same sort of deal. Uh, if you want to use admin commands, you can have this here. If you want to have them completely disabled, get rid of this as well as the question mark. Additionally, we can set our ports and query ports. Uh, it's highly recommended just sort of in case you have multiple servers. Um, Arc Survival Ascendant doesn't really allow you to do ha allow you to have multiple servers with multiple Steam accounts or with a single Steam account, but it doesn't hurt to set the ports. So we'll set the ports. Additionally, if we want to set our max player accounts, we can do that here. This doesn't seem to actually work at this current moment, and uh, we can also set no battle eye in case we want to as well. So we'll copy and paste that into our Arc Survival Ascendant. Again, if we want to add a server password or anything like that, we can change it. Um, and we essentially update our names and our directory here um, as we need as we need to. Okay, so once we have that actually started, uh, we have to have Steam open. Otherwise, if we don't have Steam open, it'll open it for us. The way that Arc has done it this time in comparison to previously is that we need to have a version of Arc Survival Ascended already on our Steam account prior to actually running a server. So it's a little bit more limited in comparison to what it previously was. So let's open it up, run our server, and should uh, come up for a second. And cool, now we have the actual server console coming up and we should see how much memory it's using. And after a while, it should say our server actually officially started. Down at the bottom, we can see our map is loading. And cool. Now we have officially started an ARC server. From here, we typically only want to do traditional uh, server housekeeping things, such as opening our ports. We can take a look and see what ports we actually set, and this is why we wanted to set them, just in case these decide to change. So we want to open up port 7777, or 477777, and port 27015 for our servers. Um, so we'll port forward that in our routers, 
and then assuming that goes well we should be able to probably connect to it so let's give that a second here and then cool now we can see it server my name is successfully started so let's jump into arc and take a look and see how that actually looks Righto, so whenever you're watching ARC on the same account that you're running it on your server, you might run into some instances where Steam is essentially coming up and saying, hey, you already logged in on another computer, do you want to sign out? Uh, in this case, it won't stop our ARC server, so we can hit continue here and launch the game as expected. Righto, so once we're loaded into ARC, we'll essentially go up into search and type in our name or the name of our server. In this case, it's called my name or just what it is in the example. We'll search for it and cool, here's our server. Click join and looks like there's a password for it. We'll just hit accept, see what happens there. So if you've previously set up an ARC server uh, with a password, it will require you to input that password again. If you do want to change this, this will be in our ARC settings here. But we can see that, hey, we loaded it into our server. Give it a second to uh, catch up, and cool, not a problem. And that's how you run an ARC server. Cool, thanks for watching, have a great one.